the ethers, the space beyond the heavens. We're going to talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A year ago, I had a near-death like experience, and ever since then, I could pick up on energies, and I could even hear from God itself. I was told it would take me 14,422 lifetimes to get it together. So I decided to start a social media platform so I could help more people speed this thing on up and finally get the heck up off this planet. Rest. Tired. Ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It is your girl, your spiritual teacher, Tahira, where I teach the divine message I received, that we are all one in love. Grow with me, guys. Love with me. It's going to be a great ride. Okay, guys, this is a big episode because we are going to talk about the ethers, space beyond. The heavens. That's where my mother is. I've been waiting to do this video. Like I said, I always uh, get the messages from spirit and then I wait for the interpretation before I bring it to you guys. So I've been holding on to this for almost two months now um, since I spoke to my late mother, Dolores. That's where I get it from. She's a beautiful soul with a beautiful heart. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into this today. I'm going to go ahead and play our meditation, the session I had with my late mother. Guys, you're going to notice something different about this one. Okay? There's a different energy. There's different information you get when you are in the ethers, the space beyond the heavens. Okay? It's about three minutes long. It's short, but there is a lot to unpack, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it, and then we'll go ahead and break everything down so we can find the spiritual teaching that will also help us on our soul's journey. One moment. Hope you guys are doing good today. Let's get this all queued up here. Here we go. Mama. Mama. It's your baby girl, Tahira. <laughs> Mama, I miss you. You seem so far away. Please talk to me. Please talk to me, Mama. Please. Please talk to me. <laughs> Mama. Girl, you know I'm right here. <laughs> A mother's love is divine love. You will experience that too one of these days. For remembering me the way that you do in your thoughts <laughs> and meditations is beautiful. I am by the waters. I'm young again. <laughs> Your long hair, Mama. Your long ponytail. Wow. <laughs> you are at peace. You are really at peace. Enjoy every second of it. I can feel. I can feel you're not. You're not near this earth plane. You are at peace. I can feel it. I know that you are. That's why you feel so far away. And I know that you'll never leave me. Nor forsake me.
What are you doing by those waters, Mama? I can see your hand. Going into the water, touching it, playing with the water, splashing. And the rocks by your feet. You are love, Mama. I got that from you, your heart. gonna leave it there guys we're gonna leave it right there guys you know what's funny I, I'm not even I'm not even sad I'm not sad and I'm gonna tell you why I'm not sad let me go ahead and pull up my notes for this one although I don't think I will really need them but The first thing I want to point out is that my mother did very little talking. You know how the other channeling sessions are quite long. I'm getting a lot of information, right? I actually saw more than what I heard, okay? That's actually when you know that someone is really at rest and they're not in line to be reincarnated, sucked back here in the matrix trap, the reincarnation trap. And I'm going to tell you why as I start to explain it. Okay. So the first thing my mom said is girl, you know I'm right here. And I love that because that is how she talks. That's exactly how she talks. It's just, it, it just took me back. It was just so comforting to hear that display of words because it was so her. She was just reassuring me that I'm right here. I'm in your heart, you know? I'm in your mind, I'm in your thoughts, I'm in your meditations, which she says. You know I'm right here, right? So I really, really like that. Then she goes on to say, a mother's love is divine love. And I love that because what have we been talking about the past few videos? Cosmic mama, the great mother, right? The great womb that we're resting in, the dark void womb we're resting in, right? So... Essentially, she's saying, she says a mother's love is divine love. God's love is divine love. Right? Nobody loves you more than your mama. Remember that. Nobody. Your earthly mom and your cosmic mama. Ain't no man gonna love you more than your mama. Okay? Mother God. And she says, you will experience that too one of these days. And I really like that because when she first passed away, I saw an image of her in heaven, right? This was like the week of her, uh, her funeral services. I saw an image of her in heaven. She was wearing like a, a cream outfit with a, like a church hat, you know, beautiful, elaborate hat and it, everything, the whole outfit was cream, right? And her arms were wings, you know? It was like almost part of the, the, the uh, top, but it was winged. And she was holding two babies. Even though she didn't have hands, she had wings. She had the, the babies right here. And I, I got a sense that those were my children she was holding. So it's almost like she's saying, don't worry. I, I held your children in heaven. You're gonna, you're gonna experience this too one of these days, you know? I like that. 
And this is very, very important. She says, thank you for remembering me the way that you do in your thoughts and in your meditations. It's beautiful. Guys, this is not the way she said it. It was like she wasn't talking to her daughter. And I like that because she said it in a way as if she had no connection with her old life as Dolores Essex. And I love that because when you're truly at peace, when you're truly at rest, you completely detach. You detach from your material things you had on the earth plane. You detach from your name, your body structure, everything. She was detached. I heard it. It resonated with me like she's no longer detached to Dolores Essex. She's just giving thanks. She's giving thanks to the person who remembers her in their thoughts and their meditations. Right? I like that a lot. I do. Then she says, and I saw this all in my mind's eye, you know, and this is where I lose the communication with her because she's actually showing me something. She says, I am by the waters. I'm young again. And she made a point to say, I'm young again, you know, but at that time, guys, when she says, I am by the waters, I'm young again. This is what I saw in my mind's eye. I saw an image of her take a step back like someone stepped back in reverse and the reason why she did that is because when you are in the spaces beyond the heavens you no longer have your spirit body okay because what you are detached when you are detached, that's the only way you can truly be at peace. Anytime you're still holding on to even your spirit form, even in the astral realm, even in the heaven realm, that keeps you on the reincarnation trap because you're so still connected to how you were on this earth plane. We want to detach completely. We want to become formless without limits, without form. We want to become fluid. And that's what I saw. She was fluid in form. There was no form. You can't contain water. She was fluid. She took a step back into her spirit body as Dolores Essex so that I could recognize her. Okay, I want to make that clear. She, she's not in a spirit body. She is formless. She's in the ethers, the spaces beyond the heavens. It's the place beyond these stars that you see, it's where the cosmic mother, great universal spirit resides. It's the actual true freedom outside of the heaven matrix, heaven to earth matrix that we're in. Yes, that's what keeps you coming back here. So I really, really love that because she's done. She's not going to be reincarnated. I can tell in the way that she's Talking to me? She's talking to me like I'm not her youngest baby. She loved me. I was her baby. She's talking to me like just another spirit that she came that she came about. And she's just giving me information. And I, I like that and I love that for her. Okay, so at the time when she was by the waters, like I said, she took a step back so that I could see her old self. I saw her olive-colored skin. My mom is... She's very, very, you know, pale, very, very light. And she has olive color skin. She always wore her hair in a long, slick back ponytail. You know, that was her signature hairstyle. And I saw her with her olive skin and a long ponytail going all the way down to like her butt area. And then I saw a mole. She has this mole. And I saw the mole too on the side of her face. And then... um she had on this gown. She would always wear these like African um, inspired gowns around the house. That's what she would lounge in. And when she took a step back into her spirit body, 
She actually had that on, the same like uh, outfit that she would wear around the house. And I love that because she's like, this is how she will recognize me. And she was right. All of those things, those little attributes she picked out to step back in is exactly how I remember her. I love that a lot. And then, you know, I just, it was overwhelming. You heard me on the tape, but I was like, I see your long ponytail, mama. You know, that was, that was the end of her talking, guys, because it was hard for her. It was hard for me to get those words out of her because she is no longer in this realm. I told you guys, earth and heaven are connected. They are the yin and yang of each other. They're still part of the matrix, guys. Our true home is beyond this space. It's in the spaces beyond the heavens, which is where she is. And we're going to get there how she got there. Because remember, I saw her in heaven. Okay, we're going to get there. So, it was just, I was saying, you're really at peace, mama. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're not near this earth plane, is what I said during the meditation. I could feel it. So if she's not near the earth plane, she's not near the heaven plane because they are combined. Okay? So I was like, you're at peace. I mean, I really couldn't, I couldn't be sad. You're at peace. I felt it. I felt the peace in my soul. I felt it. I did. Yeah. And I said, that's why you're so far away. Because, you know, my mother, she has a lot of us, you know, my siblings, we're like, man, she feels so far away. You know, she passed away 2017, but she feels so far away. This is why. Because she's not in the earth plane. She's in the spaces beyond, beyond the heavens where there is no form. You are liquid. You are liquid love. You join back into the collective consciousness, into the great mother, to the great universal spirit. And you connect your consciousness to the greater consciousness of the all. But because we are the God particle, we are allowed to be separate because the thing is, when you die, you are supposed to be sovereign, okay? Because you are God, you are the God particle. When you go to the spaces within heaven, you are not sovereign. You still have a structure up there. You still have a realm that you have to stay inside of. You still have classrooms and you, you still have all of these things. You still have all these rooms, you know, that contain you in heaven. I've been there, guys. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've been to the spirit world. I've seen it multiple times. So I like that because she is sovereign. She's a lone wolf. She's complete within herself. She doesn't need her soul family and her soul group, right? That's why she was able to break out of heaven and go to the space beyond the heavens. So then I saw rocks by her feet too. And I saw her pick her hand splashing and playing in the water. It was beautiful. And I was just telling her, just thanking her. I was like, I got my heart from you. And that's where I got it from. That's how I learned that we are all one in love. That's where I got it from. And that's why she went into the spaces beyond the heavens. What did I say? You can get off of the, the, the trap of reincarnation once you understand that we are one in love. That we are God. Because God is love and we are God. So once you understand that, you don't have to go to the heaven matrix and get recycled. You can go back home, back to the cosmos, back to the ethers where my mother is, the spaces beyond the heavens where you are formless. You are without limitations. Heaven still keeps you in a realm. You're not sovereign there, guys. I'm sorry. You are not sovereign because you have to come back here. But the spaces beyond the heavens is where you can stand in your true sovereignty. And I love that for her. I really like that. 
And so, you know, after I saw that image of my mother splashing and playing in the water, and I just, you know, I thanked her and I thanked her for, for the heart that she, she gave to me. And um, I said, I know that you'll never leave me or you'll, you'll never forsake me. Like, although you're not Dolores Essex anymore, I know that you'll never leave me because you are love. That woman was love. When I tell you that she saw the good in everyone, we would be like, why are you saying so many good things about this person? Like, they're bad. They do this. They do that. I mean, I'm telling you, she will see the good in anyone. I don't care if you're on death row. She will uplift you. And before you know it, you will think this person is the best thing that ever existed. She saw you how God sees you. She doesn't see you how the world sees you. They want to put all of their stigmas on you. They want to put all of their gunk on you. They want to pick out the flaws in you so they don't have to look at themselves. She saw everyone perfect. And that's one of the reasons why she understands that we're all one in love. And that's one of the reasons why she is not in the heaven. She's in the space beyond the heaven. I call the ethers. Okay, so just a very little bit, small words, not a lot of words that I got from her. It was more the, the imagery that I was seeing. But she wanted me to know that she was okay. She wanted me to see her being playful. She was splashing and playing in the water. And she showed me some of her physical attributes, you know. Remember, I told you, when they say you can't take anything to heaven, it's not true. I've seen it multiple times. We take those things that we love the most. She had on that African uh, gown she would lounge around the house in. She loved that the most. She wore it every single day. I mean, she had different ones, but that's what she would lounge around the house in. I've seen my brother, you know, take a football to heaven. I saw my other brother take his, his Jordan uh, jacket. You know, we take the thing that we love the most because... Heaven and the earth, they're not so far away like we think. Heaven is not the end all be all. There are more spaces beyond the heavens that we can go to where we don't have to be reincarnated, where we can truly get the peace that we want. This woman was at peace. I couldn't even be sad, guys. I can't even be sad. Completely at peace and completely love, light. Urethro was the word that I was hearing. Urethro. About her in my head. And guys, I want to point something out to you. Why I feel like my mother left the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, I'm going to say it. She left the kingdom of heaven because remember, I saw her in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Right after she passed. When I saw her in that cream all white outfit with the hat. Then, weeks later... I saw her, you know, in the astral realm. She was saying that she was searching for God. I was actually went to her trying to get some advice about um, a situation that I was going through that she's kind of connected with. And, you know, between me, her and my dad and, you know, in the astral realm, me and my dad were trying to talk, talk to her about it. And she just kept like, she didn't care. She was unbothered with the things of this world. She's like, I, I have to go. I have to go. I have to find God. I have to find God. And at first I didn't think anything about it, but I'm like, wait a minute now. Wait, you were in the kingdom of heaven. I saw you there. I saw you in the all white space wearing a, a cream outfit. But now you have left heaven and now you're saying that you're searching for God. And she was really searching. She was unbothered, unconcerned with what we were going through. She's like, I have to go. I have to find God. She just kept saying it. I have to find God. And she did find God outside of the kingdom of heaven with the gates and all of the rooms and the rules and all of the scripts with the next role you're going to come down and play, guys. I'm going to link the other video that I did. It's going to explain to you what really goes on in heaven and how we end up recycled. Heaven is not the safe space that we once thought that it was. Remember, there has been a lifting of the veil. We went through that 222 portal. February 22nd, 2022. And I did a channeling with Mother God and she said, nothing will ever be the same. 
So the veil has been lifted. So now we're able to see what's going on in heaven. They've been running amok in heaven, the evil one. The evil one is in control of this realm, guys, not just the earth. It's the heavens and it's all the other worlds that are in the astral realm. You want to break out of that completely because all of that is the matrix. All of it. Anything that puts you in a box is the matrix. Yes, your religion is a matrix. Your race is a matrix. Your socioeconomic status is a matrix. Anything that confines you and that can put you in a box is just another matrix. Stay out of boxes, guys. Stay out of titles. Stop letting people give you titles to make you feel good. It's just a way to put you in a box so that when you die, guess what? You have all these titles and accolades. You have all these material things. You have all this stuff in your will. You haven't let go of anything to prepare you for death. You're still holding on to the material world. Where do you think you're going to go? You're going to go right just a notch above earth, heaven. That's where it is. Just right here. That's it. The ethers is beyond the heavens. You're going to go right here because you haven't let anything go. You're still going to be in your material world and your material mind. When, when people channel people, when people talk to spirits, why do you think that is? Because they have not gone far. You could connect with them easily because they are still hanging around here, guys. Waiting. Waiting in line to be reincarnated. Heaven is right here. Right above this earth plane. Let's not rest. When I leave from here, I'm going home home. Back to the cosmos. I'm out of this rim. I'm out of all the matrixes, guys. All of it is a matrix. Everything in this astral realm, the spirit realm, it's all part of the matrix. So it's important to get this information to know about the ethers. So that when you do your afterlife plan, you can say, hey, I want to go to the ethers, the space beyond the heavens. And if I choose to take a step back into my spirit body form to commune with my loved ones, that would be my choice. Okay? Because you are sovereign when you're outside of the gates of heaven. Okay? So remember, even after death, they could capture you. They'll still put you back in another matrix. That's heaven. Okay? The reason why I feel like my mom <laughs> left heaven, and I'm going to say it, she left heaven. She packed her stuff up and she was like, I'm out. This ain't it, girl. Like, I'm already knowing that I'm wanting love. I need to go and join with that love. You guys have to understand, my father is woke, woke. Not just a little woke. I mean, he's woke, woke on everything. Everything. You can't get nothing past him. Okay? My mother was the opposite. She was a Bible-loving Christian. But guess what? All those years of being with my father, hearing all his wokeness, hearing it. 40 something years <laughs> probably got her to thinking when she got up to heaven and after she you know played with her grandkids and that haven't been born yet and she saw her loved ones she was probably like still like hey I remember I remember something's off something's off she packed her stuff up she left she was searching and then she went to the space beyond the heaven where the real peace is because you're not going to be sucked back to be reincarnated. The real peace is when you let go of the material world. It's when you are formless. That's when you know you have no more attachments to this body, to this life, and you can truly be free. And that's where she went. She is a liquid love. She is a liquid kind of love. It just flows everywhere. You can't contain it. You can't capture it. It just flows. That's my mama. Okay. That's my mama. 
Let's see if there's anything I want to say. Hmm. Yeah, this was a, um, she didn't say a lot and I love that. It took a lot for her to take a step back. Once you're formless, you don't want to come back and step into a, even a spirit light body. It is still a trap because it contains you. She just took that step back so I could notice her. She said those few words to me. She was out. She was out. Okay? We can learn from that. We can know that heaven is not the end all be all, guys. Open your eyes. There's more to see now. The veil has been lifted. Heaven is still the matrix. Still contains you. But we can go to the ethers, the space beyond the heavens. Where we can be free. Where we can stand in our sovereignty. As the God particle that we are. And that's what she's doing. And I love that. I love that. Okay, guys. I will... I think that's all I really want to say. I'm going to do other videos about the ethers as uh, spirit starts to reveal uh, more things to me. But for today, I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there and let my mother be at peace. The last thing I do want to say is that, you know, when people have all these altars, right? That's how they honor their ancestors and they keep their ancestors' spirit alive. But now that I'm knowing this information, it's like when you're trying to keep them alive, it's really for you so that you can hold on to them. But what you're doing is you're pulling them back into the material world. You're pulling them back into their spirit body so that they don't evolve. Guys, when we die, our soul is eternal. We still have to evolve. Let them go. Let them go. Let them be formless. Let them be free. Let them stand in their sovereignty and their divinity, right? So just think about that. Just think about that the next time you want to, to honor them. Just keep pulling them back. Let them go. We want them to go to the ethers, the space beyond the heavens. Well, guys, that is it. I hope this resonated with any of you beautiful people out there. Just want to send love to my mother. And I just want to say this. Mama, I love you. You are my queen. You are my light. There is no one in this world, in these worlds and universes, like you, you are, you are God. You are the God, you are the divine. And I love you. And I always will. Love is the way, forgiveness is the key and truth. It's the light that guides us home. Be well, guys. Be well.